In today's video, I want to talk about highlighting. The video is going to have two parts. First, I'm going to show you a couple of different options for highlighting text. And in the second part, I'm going to show you how you can configure these pens to appear here on the right hand side. To start with the problem statement, you may recall from the feature walkthrough video that with the highlighter pen, you can highlight text when the page is transparent. But when the page has a background color, like in this case, or when there's an image, then the highlighter pen disappears behind the object. Now I have three alternative ways for highlighting. So let's take a look at this other pen. So if I draw with this pen, it will highlight here, but it will also highlight here, as well as it's going to highlight the image as well. The second option is simply to use the line tool with a thin line and to click and then use the shift key to draw a straight line. You can also turn on the lock here on the right hand side. If you turn on the lock, then the line tool is going to stay active. So after I drew a line, I can again draw the next line and draw the next line. Again, the way you draw a straight line is you click, you hold the mouse button, you pull the mouse and you press the shift key. And when you do that, you can see that I'm moving the mouse up and down, but this is only going to move in certain angles and it will stay straight for a bit, pretty long period. So you can see like this, I can underline the document. And the third option, I created this yellow highlighter pen, which is a funny pen because it will have a dark yellow outline and it will have a transparent middle. And with this, you can also highlight also the image. And so this is another way to highlight. So let me show you how the different pens are configured and let me just briefly explain you why this highlighter pen doesn't work in this case. So let me start with my explanation by explaining the different layers in Xcolor Draw. So if I draw two objects, you can see I drew two rectangles and I'm going to just make this a different color so you can see it better. Then this rectangle is on top of this rectangle and I can also change the sequence or the order if I click on that with the right mouse button I can bring it to the front and now the dark brown rectangle is on top of the light brown rectangle. Normally when you draw with a pen or a line every object always gets on the top layer. The special thing about the highlighter pen is it gets in the bottom layer, which is great when you have a transparent page because then the pen gets behind the text, but it's not so great when you have objects because the pen is going to go behind the object. So the solution is I'm going to double click on this pen to open the properties for the pen. So this is a highlighter type of pen but I made two changes here. First of all, I turned off the highlighter feature. The highlighter feature is this, that it goes in the lowest layer instead of on the top layer. And the other change I did is this three zero at the end. So let me just explain you what this is. So here, the first six digits are the color, the red, green, blue, color definition. So if I choose a color here, maybe I'm going to choose a green color. Then when I'm finished with the color, then this is the color itself. Now, if I add two additional numbers here, that is going to set the transparency of this color. So if I add zero, zero, that means the color is completely transparent. So if I draw with this color, then you will see nothing. So there you go, you see nothing, but the object is there, only it has a fully transparent color. If on the other hand, instead of zero, zero, I write FF here, 
that is the maximum value that's the hexadecimal for 255 then i can draw but this is going to be fully opaque which means it's going to fully cover whatever is under this color and then the solution is to find a number between 0 and ff my recommendation is to go for lower numbers so i select 30 that's a pretty low number and if I now draw with this pen, then I'm going to get this transparent green color. The text is not going to be as vivid here. So you can see that the text is no longer black. It's this greenish black, not like in this case where the text is still black and the highlight is behind it. But I think this actually does the job pretty well. So that's option number one. Option number two, I already explained because you just choose the pen, you click on the lock and you use the shift key to draw a straight line. So that's an easy solution. And then the last one, I'm using a marker and I'm going to double click to open the properties of the marker. So I'm using a marker with an outline. And in this case, my stroke color is a normal color. So I selected this yellow for my stroke and the background color is the same yellow color. So I just simply copied this color from here, copy and pasted it in here. And then I added a transparency to this yellow color. This is almost invisible, this yellow color. So I added this one zero transparency, which means almost transparent. And I set the stroke width to three, which is a pretty thick line. And further down, I set the outline width to one. So it's just a fairly thin outline around the line. When I do this, then I get this pen that is going to look like this. And this is just another option for highlighting. So these are, I think, some of the options you can choose to highlight your PDF documents when you have an image or when you don't have a transparent page. With these options, I think you can get pretty good results in terms of highlighting your PDF document. Now to the second part of this video. It is pretty simple to turn these pens on. All you need to do is to go to plugin settings to Excolidraw and you need to scroll down all the way to the non-excolidraw.com supported features. And so this is an important comment here that these custom pens will look different on excolidraw.com. I'm going to show you in just a second. But what you can do here is here you can see the setting number of custom pens and you can have up to 10 different custom pens. If I change this to 10, then you will see that three additional pens will appear above the pizza here on the right hand side. So when I close settings, then I got three additional pens. And I can configure these pens. So this is just a default pen. If I double click on this pen, then I can choose a type of pen that I would like to customize. So for example, I can choose my marker with outline and I can click apply. And when I've done this, then I can start to change my settings. So marker with outline, this now has a red outline. I'm going to copy the same red color for the fill, but I'm going to add this one zero here to make it transparent. And I'm going to change the stroke width to be slightly more wide, but I'm going to change the outline width to be thin like in the previous case. And with this, my marker pen is now ready. And if I draw with this, then you will see that I have this marker pen that looks like this. Now, let me show you how these lines look on Excolidraw.com. This is not an issue if you only use Excolidraw on Obsidian or if you use these documents in Obsidian. But if you want to use Excolidraw 
and share your drawings via xcolidraw.com, then this might actually be an issue. So let me just come here and select this material right here. I'm going to click copy and I'm going to head over to xcolidraw.com and I'm going to click paste. And so you can see that some of these pens didn't quite turn out the same way. So for example, you can see here that this pen is not transparent. You can also, you can actually change it here. So in this case, I can add the transparency here. I can say, for example, three zero, and then this is going to be a semi-transparent yellow color. But you can see that the marker with the outline color doesn't work in this case. So I think that's all about the custom pens. Hopefully you will find these useful in highlighting your PDF documents. And if you have questions, please in the description, let me know and I hope to be able to help you. Thank you.